I know this is one of those stories that will have you all talking and there will be strong opinions on, but it is a growing trend. For people who are living longer, more seniors are looking for a little lift in their lives, choosing to spend their hard-earned money to go under the knife for plastic surgery and not just for facelifts. Among them, the great-grandmother that you're about to meet who wants to look as young as she feels. When it comes to body image in women, cleavage is often front and center of the discussion. We all remember Pamela Anderson's famous run on the beach in Baywatch. And getting breast implants is one of the more popular cosmetic surgeries. But Marie Kolstad of Santa Ana, California, brings a whole new dimension to the question, are they lift. real? We Just a couple of weeks ago, excess. her story appeared in the New York Times and muscle. lit up message boards on the internet. In a two-hour procedure last month, this grandmother and great-grandmother had her you breasts look augmented. Do you love them? Just right, exactly the way I wanted it. All right. She is 83 years old. How did you come to this decision? Well, it's a time in my life when I just felt like I needed a change to make myself feel good. The first time the bandages were off and you looked in the mirror, what did you think of your... The girls. <laughs> you call them the girls? Yeah. <laughs> well, what did you think of the girls? I thought you did an excellent job. I was going to have a tummy tuck and I decided that that was too dangerous. So I decided to have this uplift. <laughs> As you get older, everything goes down and you know, you have to look up. <laughs> what was your reasoning? When you looked in the mirror, what did you see? I saw kind of an old lady's body <laughs> and I wanted to look a little younger and feel a little younger or feel good about myself. And that kind of helped. When I examined Marie, there was a lot of sagging and almost no volume left uh, over 83 years. Marie, who's been a widow for 20 years, is not alone. Cosmetic surgeries among people over 65 are on the rise. In the last decade alone, breast augmentation in that age group has quadrupled. But not everyone is in accord with Marie's decision. I feel that she's too old for that. I think that everyone at any age, you know, should want to feel good about themselves. Like, what are you going to do with them? Like, really? Seriously? I mean, that's insane. Ridiculous. <laughs> What do you say to people who say, that is ridiculous, she's 83, why does she need an uplift, so to speak? Well, I could have broken my hip and had to have a plate put in there, and it wouldn't have been my choice, but I would have had to have that kind of surgery, so thank God my body is all in place, and so all I can do is enhance it. <laughs> in fact, many in her family were against the surgery and wouldn't talk to us for this story. My children were very upset about it because they were concerned about the anesthesia and they were concerned about loss of blood or just the fact that something might have happened. She told me the day of surgery, Mom, her daughter said, you're going to die on the table. I said, Marie, you're not going to die on the table. Her surgeon says she passed a review with an anesthesia team and a cardiologist. Yeah, there are always risks. There's risk in babies having surgery. So who's more fragile? But could you imagine at 83 years old if you died getting breast enhancement? Well, then I'd probably look good in my casket. <laughs> they don't have to stuff it, <laughs> which is probably what they do. The word spunky came to mind as I spent time with Marie. And now, would you like to have a gentleman friend? If that's in the cards, I'll take it. If it's not, that's okay too. Do you know the term cougar? Yes, but they're 40 years old. So what would you be then? I don't know, what would you call a, what's the, the next one, a lion? <laughs> a lioness. A lioness, yes. Do you find yourself standing a little taller? Yes, yes. If you got them, flaunt them? Got them, flaunt them, that's right. I gotta show the girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, a recent study done in June finds that the risk was no greater for senior citizens, but it can take longer for elderly pa patients to heal. Not the case for Marie, and that is certainly not scaring away any seniors. Last year, there were over 84,000 procedures done on the senior set, and you can see more on this story tonight on Nightline.